Good evening, everybody. Welcome to day 35 of my carnivore diet adventure. Um, what have we got for you today? It's Sunday here, and it's actually the 4th of Feb. Um, getting ready for next week, thinking about being prepared and organized and knowing where I'm going to be and what I'm going to have to do. Um, but the quick update is I've been to the gym now. I went to the gym again today, did another 60 minutes of cardio. So that's half an hour of walking and then half an hour on the on the e-bike or the just the exercise bike in the gym. And what's really interesting is my knee is okay-ish. It's still not 100%. I definitely wouldn't try and run 5K even on the treadmill at the minute. But what I am doing is I'm taking little bits. So yesterday I ran for one minute only just because I wanted to see how it would do. Today I ran for five minutes. And even in that five minutes, it started to to ping a little bit. And I started to have a little bit of pain. But but I started playing with my foot position and and my leg position when I'm running. And I actually found a way that was more comfortable and it didn't seem to hurt. So I don't know if that's good or not. Because what it might actually be doing is me starting to run in some funny duck-footed way because it makes my knee not hurt, whereas I just need to get my knee fixed and then I can run properly. So anyway, I'm happy I went to the gym again. I'm happy I got to run for five minutes and basically didn't wasn't in much pain and I'm feeling much better. But how does that factor into the diet? Well, the big thing is, is that I'm having electrolytes now whenever... I guess my theory is, is that I'll have electrolytes when I go to the gym, um, which probably is not right. I probably should have them every day, but I don't have a month's worth um, where I can have them every day just yet. So I like the Revive ones that I talked about before. They're the ones that I ordered and they seemed a bit more economical and they seem to have the same sort of stuff as the Element ones. So Look, it, it's just the ones that I got. I'm, I'm not endorsing anything over another, although I do think I like the flavors better personally. But anyway, um, so I took some yesterday and then I've taken some again today and I've had a lot, lot more water than I normally do. So I've really cut back on the number of teas and the coffees and things like that that I drink. I still have one first thing in the morning and I still have one at night. I have one now, but I really am trying to just stick to water during the day and I'm going to see how that goes as well. So just reining it in a little bit and getting a little bit more strict on the diet. I've not had any peanut butter at all in the last couple of days, but I have had some peanuts. So again, I know they're strictly not on the diet, but the raw peanuts are way better than the peanut butter because the peanut butter has oil vegetable oil, sugar, all sorts of stuff in it. And the peanuts are just roasted peanuts. So I think that's going to be better as well. And I'm actually, sadly, I've started to weigh them as well. So I know exactly how many I'm getting instead of just having a bag and putting them in the bowl and then just kind of eating whatever. I actually weigh out and I say, okay, I'm going to have 50 grams or whatever. And then that's it. So I might have a few and then I know I can control myself over a several hour period and I can just have them. And if I feel like munching on something, I can just have a bite and keep them there. That seems to be working quite well. So I like that. And I'm going to, I'm going to continue that keeping it as a snack. Obviously I would like to wean myself off of them. So that's kind of the goal is to wean myself off of them eventually, but not yet. Um, numbers for today. So woke up this morning, I suspected yesterday that since I'd been to the gym and since I'd had the electrolytes that I would put on a little bit of weight that would just be water um, which is exactly what happened so I was yesterday I was 95.5 I was 95.8 today so a little bit extra but 100% that's water weight I'm not worried about any of that um, my sleep was really good again last night today so I had 12,000 steps yes nearly 13,000 steps yesterday I've had nearly 11,000 steps today, so I didn't do as much around the house, which is the difference. Um, 
1400 calories kind of both days. I was really low on carbs today. I was very good. 15.9 grams. That's extremely low. Um, I'm not sure I've been that low yet. So yeah, on the diet, doing pretty well. I do have the, I've had one teaspoon of sugar, I think today. So that's been really good. Um, and I've cut back on that. So yeah, overall doing pretty well. Again, one of my things that I was going to try and do that I said I was going to do this month was to try and be more strict on the diet. And I'm still finding that a struggle to be super, super strict, but we're only a couple of days in. So, you know, it's, it's also going to be a struggle because I'm in the office tomorrow, but on Tuesday, I'm actually going to Cambridge and I have an event. So I'm going to be quite busy. I'm going to get up. I'm going to have to be on trains. I'm going to have to leave the house super early in the morning, much earlier than I normally would. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do for breakfast. I suspect that probably what I'll do is I'll, I'll grab something from like McDonald's. I'll get, uh, you know, one of their breakfast sandwiches with the sausage and egg and, and just have one of those without the bread. And actually that's, pr it's pretty good and it's pretty filling. And that'll keep me going for a couple of hours if, uh, even. Um, and then, but I know I'm going to be at a place where I'm not going to have anything that I can eat probably. And it's not, it's an office, it's in an office park. There's not even a cafe or anything. There's a, there's like a cafeteria that they have there. So I'm going to have to be organized. I'm going to have to make sure and take enough food and stuff for me to have during the day. And then for both train journeys and everything else, cause I won't, you know, I'll have to leave the house at probably, I don't know, six in the morning and I won't get home till probably eight o'clock at night. So that's literally going to be all day um, that I'm going to have to I'm going to have to take food. So that'll be interesting to see how well I can organize myself and uh, and we'll see. But I'm, I'm sure I'll be all right. And I think the rest of the week I've got someone coming down for some meetings on Wednesday. And then I have a whole slew of podcast recordings for my AI podcast that I do. Um Thursday and Friday. So I'll be at home both those days. So that should be fine. Um, so yeah, anyway, looking forward to going to the gym. I'll tomorrow I'll update everybody on how that goes. I probably won't go on Wednesday because I'm traveling so much and I'll be pretty knackered and I should get a lot of steps in doing that anyway. And then yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, rest of the week, I should be back in the gym. I really want to try and focus on that and get that aspect back under control. So anyway, that's my update for today. Um, if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen me before, please subscribe. I do these daily updates and then I do sort of wrap ups at the at the end of the month. So if you just hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, check in with me every once in a while and see how I'm getting on. And if you're just starting your own diet journey, then best of luck to you. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. I do try and reply to all the comments. So if you leave me one, you know, let me know how you're getting on. Let me know where you are in your journey. And if you have your own channel or whatever, that's cool. Let me know. I'll go check it out. And um, if not, that's okay too. And just leave me comments occasionally and let me know how you're doing. So anyway, everybody have a good evening and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.